guys it started snowing today and i'm so happy because this is our first snowfall of the year and i'm genuinely so excited also look at my nails this is what i ended up getting take your screenshots i was debating either between a red or like a white and i decided to do like silver sparkles because i don't know i think they turned out so well and then i also got my hair done just now and i also think this looks really good i just did like a hair treatment i didn't even cut my hair and then she just like styled it Anyways, I'm getting unready like super early because I have an early flight tomorrow morning and I still haven't packed anything for the trip yet. It's only three days, but still. Okay, I am about to rant for a second. My sister has been stealing all of my skincare. Not just skincare, my makeup too. And it's like she thinks I'm not gonna notice. My things have slowly been going missing. And so I went through her things and I find all the stuff that I've been missing. Like, do you guys know those eye patches that I love? Like, this one from Peter Tom from Peter Thomas. They sent me gold ones, and I found it in her room. The worst part is, it's literally half gone. This shit is, like, not cheap either. Like, I found four Fenty lip glosses, three Glow Recipe serums, and the list just goes on. And it's, like, it's really not that hard to just ask. I rarely ever say no to my friends and family when they ask to, like, use some skincare. Unless I, like, need it for a video, I always say yes. Like, people just don't know how to ask a simple question these days. Spray time. Anyways, nose pimple update. It's getting a lot better for sure. It's just been really dry. And so I've been putting this rescue balm from the outset on, and it's been helping. Okay, I rarely put any pimple patches on, but I have the tiniest one forming right here. And so I get to use these Glossier pimple patches. This is the collab with Starface. That is so cute. That's all. Bye, guys. That's all. Bye, guys. I'm going to the airport, so let's get ready. We're flying to Newcastle with JJ's. I'm so excited. We're doing another photo shoot, which will be so much fun. I need to go get my moisturizer. I'll be back. I haven't actually been to Newcastle before. Well, I have for like a few hours, but that's about it. Because when we went to go pick up our dog bear, he was in Sydney somewhere. And we stopped off in Newcastle on the way there for like a night or something. But I don't remember it whatsoever. So I'm really excited to go back there. Although I'm not sure if it's in Newcastle or if it's like slightly off Newcastle. But I guess we'll just figure it out. Anywhere we go, I'm excited to go. Okay, now I'm gonna add some sunscreen. I'm glad that our flight's like later. It's not at like six o'clock in the morning, so I can have a chill morning. Well, chillish. I still work up at five, but it's six thirty right now, and we don't have to leave the house until like seven thirty. Okay, I need to remember to put everything back in my makeup bag after I'm done, so I don't forget anything, because that would not be very good. But I feel like I always forget stuff when I pack. Like, I was not rubbed in. It's so hard to see what I'm doing when it's like this sunny in the morning. And I also made my coffee. I'm like completely forgetting about that. I need to remember to drink this so it's not like a complete waste. Okay, now I'm going to add on some blush. Um, I'm going to quickly do my lashes. And I got my nails on the other day. I don't know if you can like see them properly. But I think they're so cute. The person I got them done by didn't do the best job at the bows. But I still think they look amazing. And they're so like cute and Christmassy. Well, they're not too Christmassy because it's just a red bow. Layla's trying to decide what outfit to wear on the plane. I just know what this. Or to have these. Like, cargo yeah. jeans for I think you wear those ones. Okay, I, <laughs> hey, I dropped something on the floor. Oh, it's just this random brush. I really wanted to bring my book in the plane so that I could read there. I mean, it's only a one hour flight. But I really want to take my book. But then I have nowhere to, like, put it while we're walking around and, like, waiting for our plane and going through security and everything. So I think I'll just bring my suitcase. Eyebrow gel. And she's back. <laughs> Do you think the, this looks cute with, like, the bag? Yeah. The shoes, yeah. I think I should change, like, my beige princess probably. No, 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 the black one, because it ties them with your bag. Thanks. All good. I have, like, a whole hour until we have to leave. That's amazing. Okay, chuck everything back in here. And then we're all done, because I'm just going to leave my hair out. But I hope you all have an amazing day. Hey, guys, get ready for me to go to work. I didn't end up getting my nails done last time I went to the plaza, but my room is finally finished being painted. And my mum and dad put up all of the carpet in the house, so now I had to move everything out into the kitchen. So now I'm doing my get rid of me's in the dining room, and there's literally stuff everywhere. 
because we already have tiles in here so we don't need to move everything off the ground i'm also getting a new bed i'm gonna get a double bed but i don't know where i should get my bed from so let me know if you guys have any good places but when i was painting i got paint all over my hair literally everywhere it was really hard to get out of my hair and all of my clothes are in a plastic bag so it's really hard to like find what clothes i want to wear harper's come out of the shower but i think we're gonna go to the plaza tomorrow when the floors are getting like put in the house but i'm making a youtube video of me like renovating my room but yeah, so I'm in the middle of filming that if you guys want to see, like, my room. I've also been reading some of my Hunger Games book, and it is so good. Except my water bottle, like, spilled all over the book, so now it's, like, wet. Mum's vacuuming at the moment, so sorry if you can hear that, but I'm so excited to go eat. I'm just going to put on some setting spray, and I made pizza and chips. I'm so excited. Anyways, bye, guys. Hey, guys. Good morning, and let's get ready to go to school. Just using this on my face, but I'm sorry I didn't post yesterday. I was very busy. I was doing a lot of homework. And then I went to TJ Maxx and I got the, the Laneige like lip set that has like four different lip masks for seven dollars. It was on clearance. I was like, I love it. It's so cute. So on Saturday we actually didn't go to the beach. We went to Universal, and I literally had the time of my life. It was so fun. Using this moisturizer as well. This is so good. But literally my favorite ride. We went to Islands of Adventure and I went on the Velocicoaster, coaster and it was so fun. I literally want to go back just for that ride. It was so good. But guys, this primer is actually like really good. Especially for your under eyes, like for concealer. You just put it all on your face and like it makes your makeup stick. Also, excuse my looks. Like I literally went to bed at 11.45 last night. And I am so tired. Like all of last week I was really tired. And now I guess it's starting up again. I just used the Fenty Eve Drop Skin Tint in the shade 8. Someone said they wanted me to make a video using all my favorite makeup products. But literally, like, I make a video using all my hair makeup products, like, every day. Because I have a whole makeup drawer. I just, this is, like, my favorite picks. But if you guys want, like, specific recommendations, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll reply to your comment. I'm just using this Kaida Contour one I got on Amazon. But, guys, I've been doing, like, the gua sha thing um, before I go to bed every night. And I see a difference in, like, my cheekbones. I feel like they're more, like, sculpted. I just spilled concealer all over my sweater, so I put it in the washer to get that out, but... I'm just currently working on my concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. This for five blush is so cute. Doing my brows with the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. I just set my face, so now I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I want to get this in big size. It's so really good. Now I'm using the Sephora Over the Moon Blush. Also, I think I'm getting Starbucks today for lunch, so I'm literally so excited. My, like, favorite place to, like, get food or drinks is Starbucks for sure. Like, please get me a pink drink with no berries, light ice. Guys, I'm really sad because tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I'm not looking forward to that. Refined gloss highlighter on the high points of my face. Now for my favorite part. Just going in with telescopic on the ends. While my mascara dries, I'm just going to use some of this next jumbo stick in my inner corner and the tip of my nose. Now using Benefit Roller Lash on the whole lash. Benefit on the lips. Hey guys, okay, so the sweatshirt is from H&M, I think. Leggings are airy. I'm wearing my Fugs, but I'm going to wear my Converse. Boutique and Francesca's. But that's my get ready with me. Bye guys. Hey loves, get ready with me. It is 10 a.m. right now. We're gonna leave at 12. We're gonna go to London to get my fake cake for my 16th. Basically, it's gonna be like Kingston Year style because that's what I wanted to do. Because of COVID, I had to postpone it and now I'm gonna do it this year and do kind of like a sweet 16. There's gonna be like a big fake cake just for like decorations and stuff for me to pretend to cut into. And then mum's real cake that people are gonna be able to eat. You know what else I'm excited for? My dress. So I'm gonna be having two dresses, a short one and like a long one. And I'm so excited about my long one especially because my theme is going to be pink, white and gold so i really want a big pink puffy dress like i want it to be really really big <laughs> but my mom's like no no one wears that anymore like it's not trending anymore no down on moda but i want to wear it i want it i do not care what other people have done like if it's not trending anymore <laughs> i can start a new trend and then the ones that she showed me that she wants me to get are like so boring like it literally looks like one of the guests like i want to be princess like i want to be charlotte from princess and the frog and my mum was like, no, you're going to look like a cupcake. You're not going to be able to move. You're not going to be able to hug anyone. I was like, I like cupcakes. Cupcakes are pretty. They're yummy. I want to be a cupcake. Who doesn't want to be a cupcake? But yeah, so like in March, we're going to go to London as well. And like me, my grandma, my mum and my auntie and my sister are going to go on like a girl's trip. We can all get dresses. But yeah, it is 10.34. I've done two steps on my makeup. I don't know how I spent so long. But when people ask me what concealer I use, I use the Fit Me Concealer, but this one was too dark for me. So then I bought another one in a lighter shade, but it was too light for me so now i mix them both this one is in 
shade like 10 and this one's in 5. I just like mix the two shades and they make like a perfect shade. I've recently liked to blend it out with my fingers. I used to never like to do that because it would leave streaks. So I tap it in with my finger, but I still use it sponge afterwards. And then it blends in so nicely. My boyfriend just sent me a snap and he's in the south of France right now. And it looks so, so nice there. Like I've never been there. I've only been to Paris. And then my parents never took me to France again because Paris was like... It wasn't even that good. I thought it was gonna be more glamorous, but not really. It was just scanners everywhere. I was talking to my dad about this. Apparently there's literally a syndrome called Paris syndrome is when people like get depression. They get so disappointed about Paris. So I was like, is that a real thing? Oh my God, apparently that's also a thing with like avatar. People get so sad that it doesn't exist in real life that they just get really depressed. And I was like, oh my God. Well, everyone asks what blush this is. This is the She Glam blush in shade Love Cake. But it blends really nicely, you've just got to blend it straight away. Okay, so my makeup is done and I don't have time to do my hair and outfit in this video. So I'm going to do it in another video. But yeah, love you guys so much. Bye! Hey guys, get ready with me and Molly. So Molly's just doing her eyelashes and then I'm just going to start off with my skincare. We're literally only going to play zone with my little brothers, but I've got to be extra. So I'm doing a full face makeup. And as you can see, I've gone for a very pink theme. I forgot to use my toner, so I'm just going to put it on top because just why not? It doesn't really matter, does it? Someone tell me if this is alright for your skin, because I went for the purple one and I sort of regret it. I wish I went for the orange one now, but I got that one. Now I'm just going to pop some of my sun cream on, and I'm just doing it on my cheeks, and then we're going to start with my makeup. Right, since we're going to like a play area, I'm using my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, just to make sure my makeup really sticks. I didn't use this in ages, it's probably out of date to be fair. Okay, so Molly's finished her lashes, and then I'm going to go in with my Flawless Filter. Oh, that's really orange, but it's fine. Um, I'll make it work. Oh, I've put so much on. I'm just blending it out with my foundation brush and I look orange so I'm gonna have to lighten my face for a bit. Okay, so Molly's just doing a concealer. I need songs to play because like, it's not giving the vibes. I just bought this Dior blush so I want to try this out today. Um, Molly's doing her contour now and I'm doing mine. So I'm just doing a dab there, dab there, dab there. I feel like it never comes out on my forehead. But yeah, I'm just doing some there, and then I'm also going to do my nose. Right, she's going in with her favourite ever blush, guys, made by Mitchell. Oh my god! Oh my god, completely forgot to tell you guys, but made by Mitchell actually followed me back the other day, and I was literally flabbergasted. Now she's doing a powder, she does it really quick, like, all her makeup, but I'm, I still need to blend my contour out, I was doing my nose. Do you know what I love about this contour? It just doesn't dry up on your face. Like, I've left this for like 10 minutes, and it's still fine. Now, you can. now I'm going in with my Beauty Bay blush, there and there. I love this shade, it really gives. Molly's using her number 7 one, how adorable. I need to blend this out, I can't remember what I blend it out with. She's doing a setting spray now. No! <laughs> Molly's done, she looks stunning as always. Hair's given. Right, she's done. So, moving back on to me. While I do my makeup, Molly's going to give you a little haul of what I've given her because I have so much makeup, so every friend has to leave with a little treat from Alana's room. So she gave me these lashes, guys. She gave me the Studio London blush. She gave me this. She gave me this lip plumper. And she gave me this, like, setting spray. I wanna try it. Now I'm doing my Dior concealer, love this concealer, and basically I've used my little brother's stools to sit on because I've only got one chair and Molly's on my chair, and this stool is not a vibe, like it keeps sliding around. And also she gave me this bond seal. Guys. Yeah, she needed some lash glue, so I gave some, oh yeah, I gave you lashes as well, didn't I? Yeah. I don't know if you included that. Yeah, I did it. Now I'm going to try out my new concealer brush because it looks like such a vibe. I'm going to try this lip gloss, guys. Ooh. Ooh, this brush it's is so given. Red. Ooh, this brush is given. Concealer's not it today. It's like crusting under my eyeball. Don't know what's going on, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna do my powder now. Using my Laura Mercier one. Same one as Molly, because this is just the best powder ever. Okay, oh, nearly dropped the phone. But I'm baking now, and yeah. <sighs> not long ago. Gonna blend my powder out now. Doing the bottom, the other bottom, <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the top. Going in with a bit of the Dior blush. Alexa, turn down one. 
Oh, let's give this a whirl. Oh, cute. Last but not least, highlighter. And then I'm just going to sort my eyes, lips, and outfit and stuff out. Tonight. For lips, I'm going in with my Dior. And then I'm going to do my eyes. And all I'm going to do is curl my eyelashes. Using my Beauty Bay one. And I'm just going to squirt my face. Your makeup is really giving. How much death on them, I just reflect on them. Pills and potions, we're overdosing. Okay, I'm ready guys. Makeup's sort of given, outfit isn't given, Molly's giving. Bye guys! I'm in desperate need for a self-care night, so let's have one together. Honestly, I really do believe Sundays are like my self-care nights, always and forever. I'm just going to take my lashes off tonight. I'm going to let my skin have a breather. I'm just going to really, really chill. If you want me to be completely honest, I've had a very weird few days. I just feel very lonely. I think that's the word I'm looking for bit lonely feel like a lot of my friends are busy and i'm just kind of stuck at home i could be busy but i'm just very i don't know what the word is i'm extremely burnt out but also like i was in this mood on friday when i was meant to go out and then at the last minute i was like i just don't want to go there was no reason for it like i just am going through one of them parts of my life where i'm just a bit like i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> Okay, let's go wash my makeup off. Honestly, I love it when I just take my makeup off, feel fresh as a daisy. Okay, but I'm not even joking. If I see one more of you girls, <coughs> my phone just does not want to hold. But if I see one more of you girls comparing yourself and saying, I wish I was as beautiful as Ami, Tallulah, all of these girls, you you guys are so beautiful. Please, please stop comparing yourself to others. It really annoys me. I would be the biggest, world's biggest liar if I sat here and went, I never compare myself because it is so easy to do. Like, we compare ourselves to people without even realising. But honestly, if I could give you one advice, it would be live your life how you want to live it. Don't compare yourself to how other people live theirs. Don't do anything because of other people. Honestly, you guys are so beautiful. And I know it's harder for me to sit here and be like, don't do it. But... Please never look at yourself and think I'm never going to be as beautiful as someone else because you're so beautiful in your own way. You just can't see it. Okay, let's whack this bath on. But honestly, I hope you guys are well. I hope... <laughs> I honestly can't wait to see you guys at my meet and greet in Carnaby Street on Saturday. But for those that are not going, I am going to be in London all day that day. So you might see me just walking around anyways. But obviously, it's nicer to know that you're definitely going to see me. So yeah, no. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But it's the I'm a celeb final in a minute. So I might have to pause my bath and wait until that's over. I didn't even think about this. I'm just so excited. But guys, if you're on here and you haven't gone and followed my other account yet, please make sure you go follow it. It's the podcast account. And uh, I'm just so excited for it to come out. I don't think you understand. First episode comes out on Wednesday, which is so soon. And I'm on a billboard in Cardiff, in London, all next week for my podcast. What is my life? Oh, no, it's done that thing. But I really do help me doing a little bit of self-care. It can give you some little bit more motivation to do yours tonight and get in bed and snuggle up. Love you all.